Hey guys, it's Robin, your independent Sensi consultant. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. Today I'm coming with a non Sensi video. So this is a Serendipity Soy Wax Melt video. So Serendipity Soy is a company in Collingwood, Ontario, Canada, and they do candles, wax melts, you name it that way. Um, and I hadn't tried them before recently, and I'd been meaning to for quite a long time because their scents looked really good. So depending on where you live in Canada, um, I think they ship to the US. They offer free shipping in Canada over $75. And I don't know if they, it doesn't say what they charge to ship to the US, but I believe they do ship to the US. It just probably won't be free shipping. Um, so there's that. Um, I will go through these scents and let you know what I've thought about the melts as a whole. I haven't melted all of the scents yet, but I think I've melted enough of them to know kind of what their performance level is and let you know kind of what I think. Because when I wanted to purchase, I had found there wasn't a whole lot of information about these wax melts out there. Um, so I wanted to just kind of make a video about this. Um, yeah, the company does not know I exist, aside from the fact that I placed an order. So this is not like a sponsored video or anything. Um, I will include a referral link below that if you want to purchase or check them out, you can click on that and do that. Or if you don't want to do a referral link, you can just Google Serendipity Soy Melts and order them that way. So I'll kind of go through the scents. So first I got Earl Grey and Apple and I got two of these ones because I love the scent. So where I live, we have a little gift shop that carries Serendipity Soy candles. So that's how I knew I liked the scent because depending on where you live in Canada, sometimes little gift shops where you live might carry these in candle form. My local shop does not carry the melts, but they do carry some of the candles. So I was able to go and smell some things before I ordered, um, which was nice. So check around at your local gift shops. I was not able to find a spot on their website that showed where you could purchase it. So I don't think you can just go and like search your town and find a place to purchase them. but. Just be aware, some little gift shops that are local might carry these, depending on where you live. So this is Earl Grey and Apple. This is like the most realistic Earl Grey tea scent ever. It's like a tart black tea with bergamot and that crisp apple is so pretty. Yeah. I have warmed this one from the other bar. So I've warmed the scent before. It was, I would say light medium strength and about average duration, I would say two or three days. Um, it was beautiful, not overly strong. So on the whole, I found these wax melts to be light to light medium in strength, um, not as strong as like Scentsy or even like Walmart wax. I find the soy wax melts to be not quite as strong, but these scents were gorgeous overall. So no complaints there. If you like a lighter scent or you're looking for something for a smaller space or you're scent sensitive, or you just prefer soy wax for some reason, um, I would recommend this company for sure. Um, I like being able to, to get vendor wax in Canada because there's so few vendor wax options in Canada. I know in the US there are like tons, like probably hundreds of different vendors that have amazing unique scents. Um, and we just don't seem to have that in Canada. And when we do, the shipping is just over the top. So to have one with free shipping over $75 too was amazing. Um, and to not have to pay like $50 shipping from the US was amazing as well. So overall I recommend, and I'll just kind of go through the scents now. So Earl Grey and Apple was a win. It was very much a realistic Earl Grey scent with crisp apple. Then there was Earl Grey and Lavender. <clears throat> this is the other Earl Grey scent they have. And this one's beautiful as well. It's that same Earl Grey note with like a very smooth lavender. It's really, really pretty. Love that one. And I think I have this one in a candle. I think I did purchase the candle from my local shop. Um, and it's really nice too. It's burned nicely all the way down. So I will say the candles burn well and they, they're they not in, intensely strongly fragrant like maybe a Bath and Body Works candle is. It won't fill your house, but it will like fill a large room with like a nice amount of scent, not overpowering. So no complaints there. Next, I did the ice cream shop. So I haven't melted this one. This is just a scent review. This smells like Neapolitan ice cream, straight up. I get the chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry in here. This is like Neapolitan ice cream deliciousness. It's excellent. I think this will be perfect for summertime. 
Then I got Blue Mountain Air, which is one I wouldn't normally try, but I did want to try one that was in their best sellers category that I wouldn't normally buy. So when I purchase from a vendor, I like to like, get something that's popular that doesn't sound like it would appeal to me just to try it. So Blue Mountain Air was the one I chose here. And it is like fresh air like. It's got a bit of a perfumey note to it, but it smells like crisp, watery, fresh air. I wouldn't say it's soapy, but it smells like it could be a soap. It's crisp, crisp and fresh. So that is Blue Mountain Air. Then I did Sunday Mornings. This one smells like pancakes and maple syrup. Okay. I get maple syrup for sure. That's the first thing I get. But under that, I feel like I get banana. There's like a light banana note here. Like we got banana pancakes and maple syrup. It's nice. Perfect for Sunday morning. Um, it's like a bakery slash fruity scent to me. Um, I think you have to like maple to like this one, but I think it is a very nice like Sunday morning kind of pancake breakfast type scent. Then I did Gingerbread House. This one to me smells like a not overly spiced gingerbread with a little bit of that like white royal icing that gets kind of firm. And I don't think I smell like candy or anything here. There's no spice. There's no candy. I'm getting like a not overly spiced gingerbread cookie with white royal icing. That's what I get. It's nice. I think this would mix well with other scents as well. I do have this in a candle that I haven't warmed yet or melt or burned yet, but I got the wax melts as well because I do like the fragrance. So there's that one. Then I did Bayberry. I love a good Bayberry scent for New Year's. It's considered like good luck to burn or melt Bayberry on New Year's Eve. And this is nice. It's fresh. It's like a fresh berry scent. I don't know what Bayberry in particular smells like, but it, it doesn't smell like any other berry. It doesn't smell like cranberry. It's not like raspberry or strawberry. It's like a tart wild berry with maybe just like 1% eucalyptus or something. I wouldn't say there's any spice notes here. It's really nice. I like that a lot. Perfect. Then we have lavender vanilla. And this is a very nice lavender vanilla. The, the vanilla is like a buttercream frosting vanilla and the lavender is like a nice smooth realistic lavender. I like it a lot. That's a nice scent. I did melt this one. It did fairly nicely performance wise. It was like a light medium and lasted about an average length of time. I would say a day or two. It was good. And last but not least, I got sandalwood vanilla. Vanilla. This is the same vanilla note from lavender vanilla. That vanilla buttercream type scent. Only in this one there's a sandalwood note instead of the lavender, of course. And the sandalwood is like... I get more like butteriness from this scent than I do from lavender vanilla. This one's got like a butteriness to it. And the sandalwood's not overly strong in here. I was actually hoping for a bit more sandalwood. Um, but it's nice. It's very sweet. Like, very sweet. Um, it wasn't as strong as lavender vanilla, but it was very nice. I did this in my bedroom. Two cubes. It was nice. I would say average duration. Not very strong. I would say light strength. So there's that one. So that was what I got. Overall, I would say lighter to light medium scents. Really nicely done. Like, beautiful scents, the ones I got. Um, would recommend trying them for the scents alone. If you like or are okay with a lighter intensity fragrance. So that is what I got. And these are, like I said, made in Canada. It says pure soy wax, long lasting, richly scented, melts clean. And they are out of Ontario, Canada. So there's those. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.